All right, so today's second question is 211, add and search word. It's a data structure design question. Uh, we need to design a data structure that, um, I guess, efficiently supports two operations, add a word and search word. The search word uh, can search for a literal or you can search for a regular expression. And the only wildcard that uh, we are supporting that this uh, dot up, uh, means that it can re uh, match any uh, one letter. So example, we have uh, we insert bad, dead, mad. We remember that we have seen these three words. So then we ask it to search for word pad. Uh, it doesn't exist. And uh, we can tell that based on just based on the very first letter. We don't have a word that starts with P, so it's false. Then bad, which is the first word, uh, we return true. Then we do this uh, 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 pattern search for uh, dot ad uh, either one of the three matches that pattern so we return true and in the rear end we have a b dot dot uh, so the bad matches that pattern we return true so the question is asking us to come up with a data structure that can support these two things uh, effectively so uh, this in this it comes naturally to the uh, search tree Kind of a data structure, and uh, for this particular one, it's the try a prefix tree data structure. Um, if you don't know that, it, you can still probably come up with a, a good solution. Uh, if the interviewer hinting you that you might, you know, sort of construct a tree to do this to do this problem. So just think about how would you uh, use a tree to store the words that being inserted one at a time, right? You you have some kind of root node. And uh, for the very first word, it's BAD. You just uh, splits out of branch uh, with the first character in there. And uh, then uh, the children to that particular node uh, will, will be just a, a node with letter A in there. Then uh, the only child it has is a node with value D. And you can also because it's we are reaching the end of the word we use a, a kind of a boolean flag to flag that uh, to indicate that uh, this, uh, this is the end of word so if we need to search for the word bad uh, we literally just go through the paths for for this word uh, within the uh, search tree uh, once we exhausted the characters in the input uh, search string and uh, we find that we, we do have a flag indicating it's a actual end of a word that we know we return true so if we have wildcat uh, we can just search for the all the possible children's on that particular level uh, corresponding to that level let's say that uh, we also have dad here Uh, this wildcat is just uh, that uh, we will put these two nodes on the stack uh, or a queue, depends on whether you want to do DFS or BFS, and just keep tracking uh, whether either one of the paths, if we can successfully reach the end and get a terminal flag, then we just return true. So the, you, you can see that uh, uh, every, you know, uh, we basically translate uh, the uh, the uh, you know uh, horizontal you, you can see word into a vertical path into the tree and we have a, a one position to one level uh, kind of a correspondence between the uh, character location in the word and the levels in the tree and uh, so so this uh, this is uh, uh, the prefix tree or try data structure and even you don't know that you might still come up uh, with this solution in the end so uh, just a little bit word about the, the uh, a little bit analysis about the time and space complexity so for insert it's uh, out of n in both time and space um, Let's let n be the length of the word. So we are looking at the, the time and space complexity for every single the single operation of these two, a single single time for this operation. Uh, and uh, and if we if it's a search, 
the perfect uh, time, uh, the most simple case is uh, without uh, wildcat. That will be uh, linear in time, and uh, because we just literally just work through one pass, and uh, the space is going to be out of one, uh, because we uh, know where we come from and where we go to. It's uh, it, it's determined. There is only one way. Uh, if we have a fixed input here, no, with no wildcat, wildcat, cat, cat. Uh, if we have wildcat, the worst scenario is uh, dot dot dot, right? That would be so for each of the level, we need to pretty much try all the possible nodes, and uh, yeah, the the worst case is just uh, the total number of words, total number of nodes in the tree in, in the data data structure. Uh, and the space, it's uh, it's roughly uh, depends on whether you do DFS or VFS, I guess. Um, so, but but the general, it's gonna be uh, if if the the worst case is gonna be linear, uh, somehow linear uh, with respect to the total number of nodes in the data structure. That, that's that's uh, what we uh, that's the worst case, and uh, we we don't want that, right? Uh, so this. Uh, Time and space. Uh, I'm sorry, the notation kind of look, looks strange, uh, but, but uh, that, that's pretty much uh, uh, what what this is. So a little bit details about the, this individual node here. Uh, so for the for every given node, it will have uh, a a uh, we can pre-allocate like a 26 uh, locations here. For every every node, because uh, it has 26 possible full-up uh, uh, character uh, after after uh, you know after after that location, uh, we can pre-allocate that, or we can dynamically using a hash map, right? So uh, the hash map might save a little bit of space, uh, but the continue is actually good because uh, uh, if we want to search for the uh, dot, uh, we can just. Uh, uh, search for a dot. We, we, the, the, the the because the memory for that twenty six is actually continuous. There may be some benefits in that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, with, with that, we're just gonna try to code this uh, uh, question up with the try data structure. So uh, we need a, a node that uh, node object. Uh, I know that we can just use dictionaries, uh, but um, uh, you know, uh, object uh, a class helps us to organize things a little bit better. So, and it's actually quite a simple one. Um, every try node has only two things: uh, the children's and a flag. So, So this uh, this is a definition for a node within this tree kind of data structure, and uh, when we initializing uh, this data structure, uh, what, what we essentially doing is uh, uh, just grabbing a root node, single root node here. Then we code this uh, add word operation, uh, which is uh, iterate over the characters in the input uh, word uh, and uh, populating new node if necessary, and also flag the very last node in the end. So this is uh, uh, because it's a default dictionary. Uh, if the character uh, at the, any given location is not exist in the in the data structure, you will just uh, try to construct a new node with that value. So that's uh, 
that's basically constructing a pass through the uh, in the in the data structure to represent the word and also flag in the end that's a, a terminal uh, location for for a given node that we know and the search will be um, The search would just be the traversal through this data structure. Um, let, let's just code a, a recursive uh, implementation of this search. Uh, okay. Uh, let's call it uh, find, I guess. And uh, we, we will have a. a we always start with a node and uh, end up end up with a node. So any given time that during this process, uh, uh, what we need to know is uh, the current node and the uh, you know the um, position of the word, the, the character position of the word that we are searching at. So uh, so there are going to be two inputs to this function, which is the i's location in the word and the current node that uh, we are operating on. If we reach the end of the word, uh, then we just return whether the node has a terminal flag or not. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will just grab the uh, character, the eyes character in the word in the, in the input word, and the, based on where whether it's a wildcat or it's an actual letter, the search is going to be slightly different. If it's a, a you know wildcat, uh, then we search all the tw possible twenty six possibilities. Uh, or uh, actually, we can just search whether the children childrens uh, the keys in the in the uh, the keys in the in the childrens here. And uh, for every possible key, uh, possible uh, uh, wildcat, uh, wildcat matching, and we just uh, recursively do this uh, uh, find operation on the next location. So the uh, the the call is going to be the. Uh, this is grabbing the child node, and this is a uh, increment uh, the location in the process of the searching. If it's a successful, uh, we just return true, meaning that uh, uh, if we find any word, we can also always return true. Uh, if the all the possibility uh, end up uh, fruitless, uh, then this wildcat matching is gonna result to a failure in the end. If it's not a wildcat, then there are two possibilities. Uh, whether it's a known character here, uh, yeah, whether P is uh, in the in the child or not. And if in no, in the uh, so uh, based on this, we can just return false. Otherwise, it's uh, similar to this uh, situation here. Uh, it will be char and plus one. So the search is just uh, gonna call this method uh, with the root node and uh, the zeros location in the word. What kind of search is this? Um, whenever we match a position, um, we if it's a dot, uh, then we try all the possibilities. 
and this function is going to call itself. So it, it's a it's a DFS. Um, try to go to the uh, end end of a pass as fast as uh, before it tries the the other the other alternatives. So it's a DFS search. So if I had time or the interview requires, I can you know, change the code into a iterative uh, pro, uh, implementation. Uh, so, uh, but but I guess the recursive one can show the logic better. Uh, I'm not sure. So let me quickly check if I if I have errors in here. Uh, this is the definition of node. It's uh, the children's are the key value pairs, with the key be the ice locations character, and the values be the uh, nodes. Uh, and uh, each uh, node has a terminal flag. So in the in the initialize the constructor, we just uh, create a root node, empty root node. When we inserting a node, uh, inserting a word. Uh, we add that uh, uh, we add uh, a node for each character in the data structure, and in the end we uh, flag that very last node to be true. Uh, okay, and the and the search operation it's uh, basically trying to traverse or through the data structure. Uh, if it's a known character, uh, if, if it's a character and uh, not the one that we have in that particular level, then we fail. Otherwise, we uh, try to uh, proceed to the next level. If it's a wildcat, we try all the possibilities. So it looks good to me. Uh, i try to submit this. Uh, OK, we have an arrow. In oh okay, so it's a uh, it's a node here. Uh, let me change this all to node, so it's more consistent. Let's try again. Yeah, this time it works. All right, so that's the question for today. Um,